August 4th, the first garden. Aren't you glad we have gardens in the world? In some gardens, there are beautiful flowers growing. There are bright jonquils, or as I call them, daffodils, as yellow as sunshine. There are sweet-smelling pink and red roses. There are purple violets and tall, bright hollyhocks. In other gardens, there are vegetables growing. A vegetable garden is not as beautiful as a flower garden, but oh, what good things you can find to eat there. You can find mm, round red tomatoes growing on the vines. You can find long green beans and crinkly green lettuce. Growing just beneath the ground, you can find red and white radishes and orange carrots. Trees grow in gardens too, many kinds of fruit trees and shade trees. Do you know who made the very first garden in the world? God did. It must have been a wonderful garden that God planted. In it was every kind of tree that has good food growing on it. A river flowed through the garden to water it. The name of the garden was Eden. After the Garden of Eden was planted, God needed a fellow worker to help him take care of it. So he made Adam, the first man in the world, to live in the garden. God had made seeds for every tree and plant that grew. When it was time to plant them, Adam's work was to dig the ground and to make it ready for the seeds. Then he planted them. God sent sunshine to make the plants grow. He sent rain to give them a drink. Adam kept the weeds from growing too close to the little new plants. Adam and God worked together to make the Garden of Eden a beautiful place. The End Okay, that's it for tonight. Go get some rest and have sweet dreams. And always remember, I love you and God does too. Good night.